there you too. Let me turn the volume down here on the light. Hello. Uh, we'll just, oh, I see it. It's over there. There we go. Make it a little nicer for you. I've got, uh, I, I, I get into all kinds of little stuff here on the internet and um, in the interwebs. And uh, something I got into tonight was, uh, was kind of like reviewing Obama, uh, Barack Obama's um, Barry Sartoro, whatever you want to call him. He got like three names. Don't know where the hell he's born. Come in here. Applied for a uh, student loan as a foreign foreign student. He got a loan. Uh, he got a grant. Uh, he got an admission into Harvard Law through a foreign exchange kind of thing. Weird. Weird stuff, you know. I'm not big on the birther thing, which Hillary Clinton started, by the way. Uh, started that birther, the whole birther thing. Was he even born in the United States? And then, and then she ended up being his uh, secretary of state. State, whatever. She, yeah, she was pretty cringy at that job, too. She botched that. Had to claim she had a brain tumor or something and drop out, you know, gracefully bow out. They were selling us out the whole time. But, um... Something interesting, I was I was looking at a video today of uh, his swearing, and it's something I didn't, I mean, some of my viewers are really young, you know, I, I, I try to keep the bad words to a minimum, but sometimes I just want to cuss, you know, it's just, ugh, it drives me, just, just drives me crazy sometimes, uh, frustration uh, with, 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 with just the past, you know, and it's something that I brew, it, Blew past me. My sisters all voted for Obama because it was time we had a black man in office. Okay. All right. I get it. Your friends and peers are pressuring you to be not racist, so you're going to vote for a black guy because he's black. You know, that would be the most unracist thing to do is vote on somebody just because they're black. It's so, so not racist. So not racist. But, uh, damn kids. And I tried telling him, I tried telling him, oh, that, uh, should I vote for him because he's black? I was like, no, I'm voting him because I, I, I don't even know anything about the guy. He just shows up, he's been in politics for 18 months, and, and he's now he's running for president? Who is this guy? Do you even know who he is? Well, he's from Illinois, and he's black, and I, you know, I mean, at the time I lived in Wisconsin. You know, I was like, well, the reason I moved to Wisconsin was to get away from Illinois. Go figure that one out. But, uh. Anyhow, so anyways, they voted for him. Oh, well, they were first going to vote for Hillary because she's a woman, you know. <laughs> and then she, she says, well, I'm going to, you know, after she attacked him for like six months. So, oh, well, he's not such a bad guy, you know. He's all right, you know. I met him. He's pretty cool. All right, all right. He's pretty cool. So here we got, she finally flips flip-flops and uh now she's supporting barack obama and after six months of talking all kinds of trash my sisters turn around and <laughs> do whatever hillary says so she went and vote for it so i'm watching all right so, so today i'm, I'm getting down and, and we're thinking all these people are going off here we got uh comey he's out here taking in his twitter feed taking pictures in nature and what a beautiful world we have and the director of the fbi is out nature hiking and taking pictures and videos of mountain ranges and I think he knows his numbers are up they're over here playing hot potato with this dossier him and his buddy uh and then Rosenstein he, he kind of bailed and you know, I, I, I didn't have nothing to do with it you know he's backing out of it what me and him and uh this other guy they're playing hot potato with the steel dust. Yeah, it was him. No, it was him. It was him. It was him. They're playing that game. I'm like, oh, geez. Yeah, they know. They know their number's up. And, uh, you know, all the charges are going to be high treason. Uh, they, they undermine the Constitution of the United States, something they were swore to uphold and defend and protect. And they're over there playing games with uh, the Fourth Amendment. Uh, you know, the Fourth Amendment is a pretty big one right there. You know, no illegal search and seizure. Uh, they're tapping phones and fake warrants on a fake dossier, and they knew what they were doing. They knew it was fake. They're admitting it. They're admitting they knew it was fake now. But uh, they're hoping for leniency, but we all know what the penalty for high treason is. And uh, something tells me they're just going to disappear one day, you know. There'll be a funeral, and what a hero he was, and there'll be a legacy, and... I think he's gonna he's gonna go out just like John McCain did. 
uh, very quietly. And it was almost like it was set up, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, no jail time, just quietly go to sleep at night and not wake up. And I think that's what's going on. And uh, all the signs are there. He's out there taking nature shots. Call me, director of the FBI. Now all of a sudden he's into nature. Look it up yourself, but um, what, what what originally started with was what, what are the charges for high treason and how can we, and I started looking and I, and I uh, you can look all this stuff up if you want to. It's all researchable. I ain't going to do research for you. I already did the research. This is why I'm taking the video and just cutting to the chase. I've seen uh, Obama swearing in. Now, start from day one. Let's, let's see. He got elected. He's swearing in. He's standing on the, uh, he's standing on, 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 on the Capitol. And he's swearing in, and he got his hand on a book, and he botched it. He left key words out. He, this is something presidents practice for weeks, you know. When you're, if you're going to be president of the United States, you practice your speeches. Look at your little little teleprompters, but you already know what the speech is. You practiced it. In the airplane on the way over, you, you rehearse. You do rehearsals. I mean, because you don't want to screw it up. The only thing I come up with, and you know, leaving all the Alex, Alex Jones theories and everything out of it, the only thing I come up with is he did it on purpose. He had to. He, how, how can you screw it up? How can you? How can you screw up your swearing in process of the president of the United States? How can you stand there and every day, every day, every day, every day, every day? Um, you've practiced it for weeks. You know, there's only like three sentences where to uphold the Constitution. He, he got that part right. But right before that, he left out the word to. And uh, I swear, hold in awe, President. He, he jacked it up good. So I don't think, uh, I think his whole presidency, uh, they're talking about turning Trump. Now, they're, now the whole thing is that they're talking about right now annulling, annulling Trump's, uh, just a, to annul his presidency. Not for him to resign or be impeached. Now they're, they've they shifted gears into annulment. Like if he's married to the country or something. To annul the press. All his policies and everything. Everything that he signed is just going to be erased. In the last almost three years. Two years. A little over two years. So that that's where the Democrats are going. The cringy, de cringy Democrats are trying to annul. Is the word they're using. And this isn't allegedly, this is something I've seen with my own eyes. Uh, Obama screwed up the uh, the swearing-in process in 2009, uh, November 20th. 20, yeah, not the morning of November 20th. He had his hand on a book. I'm not sure which book he had his hand on. And then he said some Hakuna Matata shit on the front uh, steps of the White House. Hakuna Matata. And I think that means send off, send over all your, all your uh, uh, militant fighters uh, in the Muslim world. And then he claimed to be Christian. Uh, he, he's just a, he's a cringy dude. And if anything, his presidency was illegitimate based on what I found. He he, did, he screwed up the swearing in process. He never even swore in. He never swore in. You're supposed to talk verbatim. Verbatim. Every word for word for word. And he screwed it up on two occasions in two sentences. He screwed it up. The first part. And then he says, I'm the president, uh, presidency. And, 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 and then he says, and uphold the Constitution of the United States. He said that perfect. He had no problem with that part. Uphold and defend the composite. Yeah, he never, he, yeah. The swearing in part, the first part of it, uh, you know, he's, I, it speaks for itself. Go look it up. Obama swears in right here on YouTube. Up at the top there, a little hourglass. Put it, put it in the search bar. Obama swears in. Look for yourself. I can't make it up if I try to. God's peace. Love you. If you like what you see, subscribe. Hit the little bell, hit the thumbs up, thumbs down. I really care less. Whatever you want to do, it's on you. And uh, like I said, I try, I try not to cuss in front of my because some of the people that I watched were too young back then. They were like 10, 12 years old, you know, in, in the year 2009. Uh, they, they, they can't possibly remember this. And it, it, why would they look it up? Why why would you look that up? It's old news. But I wanted to start from the beginning. This, this is, These are my findings. And I got Comey out there. Oh, beautiful nature. He's taking it in. He's taking it in. He knows his his days are numbered. He's a young man too. He's a young man. He signed his own death warrant when he got got hooked up with the Hillary Clinton Hillary uh, crime spree. Uh, you know, damn syndicate. 
Uh, Hillary Clinton, she, she I, I, I can't, you know, it, it, part of me wants to feel sympathetic towards him, but the other says, hang him, hang him from a big tall tree.